Okay, and this is step two of the Halo editing process. Uh, in this level, or in this step, we're actually going to be creating the level itself, creating the geometry that makes up the level. So we'll be going into 3ds Max, and a quick tutorial on navigation through 3ds Max. On the right-hand side, you have your uh, Creation tab and your Modify tab. Those are the two tabs that we're going to be working with today. And uh, in the viewports, by default, we have Perspective, Left, Front, and Top open. Uh, to navigate through the viewports, you would click the middle mouse button. To zoom in and out, you can scroll using the uh, scroll wheel. Scrolling forward scrolls in, scrolling back scrolls out. Or you can use the uh, zoom magnifying glass in the lower right hand corner there. And to move around in within the viewport, you would click and hold the middle mouse button. And you can move the, level, move the uh, viewport around. If you hold the alt key, you can rotate the viewport around. Alright, in this case we are going to be creating our uh, reference frame, and that'll be the first thing we do. So under the Create tab, we're going to select Box. And in the top viewport, we're going to zoom out. And we're going to create the box in the upper left-hand corner. And we'll do this just by clicking and dragging out a box. We'll release the left mouse button, and pull up on the mouse to give it some height, and click the left mouse button again under our Modify tab. We're going to rename it from Box 1 to Frame. Now we'll zoom out so we can see the box in each viewport, and we'll get rid of the grid by striking the G key. Now we're going to want to create a second box. This box will actually be the level, so under the Create tab, we'll select Box again, and we'll drag out a box. We're going to adjust the parameters, so after the box has been dragged out, we're going to select the length, and we'll make this level 5,000 units by 5,000 units by 1,600 units high. And you'll see our reference frame ended up uh, within the level. That's actually something we don't want to have because you'll end up having uh, collision geometry. So we're going to want to move that outside of the level. And we're going to select the second box we made, go to Modify tab, and rename this box Skybox. And that's just for organizational pur purposes, so when you see a list of objects that are in your level, uh, you'll know exactly what, uh, what object it is by the name. And we do want to convert this to an editable mesh, so we're going to right-click on the object, Go down to Convert To, and select Convert to Editable Mesh. And we want to select all of the faces of this mesh. So we're going to go into Face Selection Mode by clicking the uh, icon under the Selection tab. And we're going to click and drag over the entire box. And you'll notice that the box does highlight, all the faces highlight, which is what we want. Under Surface Properties, we're going to go to Normals and select Flip and this will bring all the surfaces that were facing outward